This is Crypto Core Radio, discussing the ideas, people, and projects building the new digital economy. Get the latest on blockchain technology and cryptocurrency updates with your host, Lutz. All right, it looks like it's about to start, fellas. Very cool. As soon as the audio starts, you'll hear it here. I'll make it available for replay, no problem. If you miss it. Me personally, just waiting on, on uh, audio. Uh, I see there's a Komodo platform and it's now live, so it looks like they got it working. All right, guys, just waiting on audio. Just waiting on audio. We have video, video confirmation. They finally got the video to work. We're just waiting on the audio to work. They're really good at blockchain technology, guys. But you know, when it comes to video streaming, it might be a whole different world. Okay, okay. hello, guys. Sorry for all the technical problems. A little delay. Awesome. I think there's always little hiccups. Well, we are going <laughs> doing this for the first time, but now we figured out how it works. Uh, so first, uh, hello, guys. Sorry for all the technical problems. A little delay. And we still have something <laughs> online here. Let's close the gates. All right. Quiet. And now uh, we will just uh, introduce, like I'm Auro, I will be kind of the commentator here, directing the conversation, and then CA333, she's security officer and developer. And I'm um, Poly Crypto Blog, uh, marketing manager of the Superhand Cometa. And uh, today we're going to unveil our big announcement. Um, the first we're going to talk a lot about some of the history that we've already made with uh, cryptocurrency. Yeah, like we have like a two angles to this announcement. Uh, like we have a lot to talk about, so bear with us. We will go over it. Uh, like uh, the first angle is like a technological thing. We have a technological innovation, and then there's also like a marketing angle. Like uh, we believe this thing will really boost our visibility and uh, the ecosystem and such. Yes, we have a great year ahead of, ahead of us next year. Uh, so we will now talk a little bit about the background of our platform. Uh, basically, Komodo is just uh, like six months young, right? But the uh, more project itself is started like 2014, or even a little before that. Um, so, and, and the, what we result was called, is something called blockchain interoperability. Uh, CA, do you want to quickly Sure, sure. With uh, blockchain interoperability, basically our vision, we like uh, wanted to connect different blockchains, but not just the technical aspects, especially the community aspect, like getting the communities developers together, connect different blockchains in a decentralized and special blockchain-based way. So um, we, we, we got pretty close to, to this, this, this goal. So actually with the current uh, technologies we're utilizing, we already fulfill those factors. So we have a full blockchain interoperability. And yeah, basically that's it. What we did the last years, so we've been around for a while. So 214 was like the ICO for the SuperNet, but uh, most of us special developers, James, me, have been around for a while, like the last five, six years, getting like, pretty deep into blockchain tech development, a lot of collaborations with our blockchain projects. And yeah, here we are today in Stockholm and hope you like it, hope you like the news we're going to announce. Pass the word back to all. Thank you. Yeah, it's really like it's a modular platform, and it the, some of the modules were built even before Commodore came, and and this really now allows us to work connected blockchains. It basically get a, a network of blockchains, and uh, now we will introduce you three things that we have now made possible with the with the with the platform, and uh, and then we have a fourth one 
pleased to be with Arnold today, and it's be it will be a huge fun. Uh, but now first uh, we will talk about the decentralized uh, exchange basically. And, uh, and here we have two experts who will cover a little bit uh, what, what, what this means, uh, like oh, how, how we are making cryptocurrency history. Okay, I'll just give a rough overview to DEX, to our decentralized exchange system, and Poli will later on like uh, mention some differences and uh, like to other uh, technologies who claim to do actually the same. So first of all, our decentralized exchange system is fully decentralized and blockchain based. But furthermore, it, it like it's based on the atomic swap protocol. That means like there is no third party or entity involved in this coin exchange. Actually, it's a bartering. It's a swap, a straight swap, and it's non-regulatable. Just like from that point of view, because you're doing this in a direct way, and there's no third party or counters involved in this atomic swaps. And Polycrypto will just like give you an info about the difference as well. Other uh, decentralized exchanges out there, um, currently the ones that are active uh, work via proxy tokens, uh, such as Waves, NXT, BitShares, um, and other systems like uh, BISC, or you know, what was formerly known as BitShares, or BitSquare, um, uses a third party arbiter to facilitate the exchanges. Uh, this is completely different than what we are actually doing. Uh, ours does not require any third party arbiter and allows us to. Uh, swap, you know, from one blockchain to another, straight from your home. And compared to other cross-chain solutions that are being developed right now, such as Zcash, XCAT, or Blocknet's, um, you know, uh, form of uh, cross-chain exchange, um, our product is fully working. We actually have a simple GUI out right now, uh, which will be further advanced, and uh, you know, it will allow anyone to be able to, from their, you know, from their own computer, to swap with any random person in the world and without having to log into the site, without having to trust some third party, without having to um, rely on you know, uh, liquidity providers that are centralized, such as in the case of Blockman. Um, now we're gonna go to the second, our second point here. Uh, let Otto take it. Yeah, so that was the first case for cryptocurrency history. And, uh, and then the second thing we enable is we have our own scalability solution where we put multiple blockchains together. So we could create like five Komodo blockchains and that way they form a network that allows us to scale it. And uh, do you guys have any comments? Oh, sure. Yes. Uh, okay, so one of the issues with blockchains is that the transaction rate is very small. Like especially compared to networks like Visa or MasterCard. Um, through the uh, use of peer chains, uh, we can uh, scale up transaction rates up to you know, uh, however large they need to be. Uh, a side chain can be created with a one-to-one -one swap Komodo, and that essentially would double our you know, transaction capacity. And we could just keep creating these side chains as necessary. Um, additionally, uh, you know, in terms of scalability, our PAC solution acts as a, a additional form of uh, transaction capacity increaser, uh, which also allows people to transact in uh, currencies that they're more familiar with, which is uh, nece absolutely necessary for uh, mass adoption. And now we're gonna okay. talk about our third uh, you know, major invention or uh, advancement in the cryptocurrency space, and that is the blockchain uh, or Bitcoin Tumblr. Now I want just to add a little point to the DEX thing, uh, especially recent events going on in Asian parts of this world. A system like that, of course, would give the humans the ability to keep their right to exchange whatever they own for whatever they want to exchange it, as long as it's not a universally illegal item or digital thing. So in the end, DEX will not just ease the way you interact financially but especially also is the way you as a human will keep your rights okay and then uh, we could quickly go about the third part which i think is most e exciting for me because it really gives um, something for the normal bitcoin users and through komodo platform we can provide them a privacy feature uh, when the value of the bitcoin can kind of funnel through to the komodo platform and then back to back to Bitcoin, 
and, and for this we use the kind of the decentralized exchange technology and um, exactly yeah. yes so basically we're using already existing technologies to just like give users the ability to create privacy funds like how i call them like private funds only you are aware of them only you know they actually exist and actually you own them so this privacy feature i mean supernet komodo komodo platform like we write privacy in big letters because we take it really serious so yeah that's it so we yeah. have like um, and one thing i want to add to the tumblr thing um it, you know this uh, Tumblr technology that uh, you know our lead developer James has developed is actually compatible with multiple different coins. So if a developer could you could take our Jumblr and uh, you know say do it for Litecoin or Dogecoin or, or whatever bit of coin compatible coin that somebody wants mixed, which is very, which is very uh, you know necessary for you know uh, privacy. You know, because many coins right now do not offer any sort of privacy features. Um, so this is, gives an extra feature for nearly all cryptocurrencies. Yeah, and uh, so what we could say, maybe the timeline, the Bitcoin privacy feature, we expect it to be online uh, probably late this year or next year. And already like all the Komodo privacy feature, which is similar to the Bitcoin, is already online on the back end, but we are still missing the ECTUI interface, uh, which we are now uh, developing. Yeah, but actually, it's already a native feature of the Komodo platform, and yeah. you are already able to use it fully. Oh, and uh, but now we will move to the news itself, the announcement. Uh, like. Uh, we will begin with a little bit of history, like uh, we, about a month ago we announced the partnership with Mones. An online banking platform uh, which is based in Paris, France. We met them at the money 2020 in Copenhagen and uh, did a partnership with them, a strategic partnership. And like we've been working a lot with them like in the last weeks. We visited them a couple of times in Paris, met their CTOs, their development back and then core team. And uh, well, actually, we also saw that they pretty much share our vision of a transparent and decentralized financial world. And they showed us and proved this to us and uh, gave yeah. that commitment to actually be using our platform for future integration into their banking system. So actually, there's this huge topic, banking meets blockchain, and we are going to write history exactly in this point, so. It's really like uh, they, they are innovating in the blockchain, uh, excuse me, in the banking industry, and they already have their first clients, and, uh, and they, they really, what we were talking about, and they really have an innovative solution, how they can scale their uh, platform, and, uh, and and then we are innovating on the blockchain platform, so it's a very natural strategic partnership between us. Uh, so we have, uh, they will really give us good contacts and, uh, and a lot of use cases for Komodo, since they see like Komodo as the gateway to the blockchain world. To their gateway, exactly. They're already like testing, experimenting with it, and we're already discussing use cases like as transmitting fiat currencies through the blockchain in a transparent way to clients between each other. All right, currently they are offering a B2B market, so actually businesses in Paris, in France generally, have a pretty hard to get like uh, bank accounts and stuff as long as you don't like prove you have enough liquid funds. And they made it pretty easy and uh, actually. Uh, like a matter of, of hours to initiate your own bank account for business purposes and they're already like planning to get into the private market as well they have expanded to the UK we're working we're pretty close together with their head of UK and yeah actually like it's they're doing a lot of innovative work in, in, the, in the banking area in the fintech area itself so yeah they, they understand that uh, the transition period that is coming for, for the banking industry exactly. and they, they want to create blockchain based services and uh, and we really like we have the same vision and and, uh, and really uh, we, we are gonna work together for, for a long time it's really a huge partnership and uh, and we really want to like show it and they want to really show that they are really with us so that's how we actually acquired five percent of Monet's so we, we own the shares 
Exactly. So the Supernet acquired officially 5% of its bank's uh, shares. And those are being like transmitted to a foundation. That means we will like regularly, most likely once a year, get the revenue out of those shares in fiat. That means we now have an official source of fiat income for our project funds. And this is huge. Not many projects made it that far. So we don't have to mess a lot around with like cryptocurrency to fiat cash outs and so on. It will not like easy the way we organize our projects and fund it, but especially set a president's case in like really like the blockchain space connecting to the conventional industry and commercial enterprise areas like the banking sector. Yeah, so we really like are working really deep with them and uh, really excited to what, what else we can do and we are actively communicating. Uh, do we have anything more to add to the Monet partnership or should we move to the next thing? We can move to the next thing because actually it includes all the Monets. So I think the users have been waiting for that. Yes, the, the real big now. So we mentioned Monet's a little bit before and uh, earlier in the newsletter, I believe. And, uh, but, um, you know, it, it, while Monet's, the Monet's partnership is, is going to be amazing for both Monet's and, you know, Cometo, um, this next announcement which CA triple three will uh, talk about, uh, it's gonna blow your mind. So, all right, like looking at recent events in Asia, especially the last couple of days, ICOs been banned like, from multiple like uh, cryptocurrencies platforms, and furthermore now like the financial authorities in China are like trying to ban the exchanges themselves. Good. So what we from the Komodo platform came up with is the so-called DICO. So uh, currently, like in recent times, like the most important part of a cryptocurrency's life cycle, which actually is decentralized, is centralized, the ICO. So it makes it regulatable, like authorities can easily like attach the point of sales, exchanges, and so on. But now a fully decentralized ICO would be compared to a centralized ICO, what like the BitTorrent or Torrent network in general is compared to Napster. So as much as authorities and, and like governments would like to regulate this sort of things, they just won't be able to do it. So you as a human and as a world citizen should actually have the right to barter whatever you own for whatever you want it to exchange. So as long as the item or digital object you're exchanging with it's not illegal, not universally illegal. Okay, so now assuming a financial authority or government or regulating authority takes this right away from you, shouldn't you be able to mitigate those damages done to you by using like a special means, like the Komodo platform? So what we've been working on the last weeks without like pre-announcing it is like a decentralized way of initiating an ICO. This is done in a full decentralized and blockchain based manner. There is no third party or middleman involved in the whole ICO process. So I'll just give you a rough overview how this would look because actually we're just utilizing already existing technologies like for example Bartertex to name it the Komodos platform decentralized exchange system and in addition to that our jumbler system like Polycrypto and Audi just explained you. So you're able in the first step to create private funds. So through our privacy tools you just create private commodos, so only you are aware of them and only you know they exist and belong to you. And with the private funds nobody else knows about, you're actually able to do whatever you want with them, like participating in an ICO, uh, like buying something, like whatever, it's just like your good right to do this. And you as a human also has the right to not self-incriminate, so actually we can say that uh, giving these methods and tools like any citizen on any place of this planet will be able to get his rights back to barter whatever he wants to barter with as long as it's not illegal. So that's the first, the first part. Okay, now let's go to the token issuer side. Now imagine you as a user, okay, and you've just like created your private funds. Now you enter our decentralized exchange platform and what you find is an order book full of like UTXOs from an ICO. So you, with those private funds, could actually 
participate in that ICO, which is run decentralized on the decentralized exchange, you just get your ICO tokens on a private address and nobody will ever know what happens except you. And this is real financial freedom. So now let's look at this from the issuer, from the ICO issuer side. You as an ICO issuer, you actually just initiate your own blockchain, you issue your tokens and that's your good right to do so. So actually you're not doing anything illegal and at the end of this process you actually just like create a lot, thousands of little UTXOs and place them, distribute them amongst like hundreds or even thousands of, 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 of nodes around the world. So anybody will be able to enter the decentralized exchange and to participate in this ICO like as this is happening directly between you and the issuer. There is no like a financial transmittance issues as, as it's, it's just a, a straight barter. Well, so that's the part of the issue inside and that actually gives us a lot of opportunities, a lot of like advantages compared to the conventional centralized ICO systems. So first of all, like whales will not have the possibility to just jump in and buy like off a huge portion of, of, of the ICO tokens because as those are being like split up in many little UTXOs out of many reasons, but especially the reason is like it won't make it like affected by any KYC regulations, just one of many advantages. Second thing, it is limited. There is a timely limitation like a whale can't just like fulfill thousands of, of, of orders without like having thousands of people helping at the same time. So we have, a, we have a lot of advantages compared to the centralized ICO systems. And back to the like real reason for this is we think that like the humans should keep their rights. And uh, if we don't do something against that, uh, we'll take all rights away. And we don't do more than just providing this technological base for you to create your project with your good ideas. And we're here to help you doing it. Same like with the onion routing protocol, those developers are just providing a base for the world to create some, some sort of freedom and to keep their freedom and their rights. And that's what we from the Komodo platform are doing. We are just doing this all for a better world, for a better financial world, and especially furthermore for a decentralized and transparent society, digital society. Thank you. Yeah, so really like uh, with Komodo platform we are able to provide the full package for anyone who likes to launch an ICO, from the token of cryptocurrency creation to the ICO itself. And afterwards, we, we provide white label wallet, white label explorer, and it's available in our own decentralized exchange that we explained previously. Exactly, that means it will be tradable just from that moment on it got issued to the decentralized exchange by the token issuer himself. So actually you are free to do whatever you want on our platform. We just build it for you. As long as you don't have a reputation and trust, people won't buy it. So people anyway going to do their own homework and in the end if something goes wrong, there's the only p person they can blame is themselves. And uh, apart from that, like, yeah, please, sorry. Yeah, yeah, I, I think we forgot to mention one important point, which is like, uh, this we already have this technology and we have made like over 1000 atomic swaps in our decentralized exchange. I'm so still it, it's over. working. Yeah. Yeah. Still it's we, being we are, we are used testing, we are testing it all the time. All the time, every day we make more and more swaps. Exactly. And, and so, so actually we're just utilizing already existing technologies like the Jumbler and Bartodex to create this DICO system. And on top of that, the online bank Monet's will be like the first decentralized ICO, but of much such that's coming in the future. Yeah, I guess we can reveal the, we have a, <laughs> this banner, we have this banner in, uh, oh, yeah. in our, uh, in the Stockholm conference. And uh, we, we have been already like uh, advertising this our complete solution and there have been a lot of interest. And, uh, and the first use case we have it for it is the Monet's, the partner. Uh, and we call this campaign Banking Meets Blockchain and they are going to have their own ICO on our decentralized ICO platform. Uh, 
anything to add? Yes. Well, wow. it's taking place in autumn, this yeah. autumn, so just you're aware of it. Uh, we partner with them, they're great guys, they have an excellent technical development team. Uh, their CEO is like really part of the Div Digital Revolution Army, and it's just great. Like the project is it's going on, we did a lot of progress in the last weeks and months. And furthermore, we like uh, expanded and extended our platform in such a manner that it will really like uh, move towards a fully blockchain-based, decentralized, trustable, like trustless system and society. Um, just wanted to, to mention uh, before when we were talking about the decentralized ICO, it's not just China. You know, that's the recent news, but other nations too are cracking down on you know ICO offerings. Um, Russia, the United States, I you know and several nations in Europe, it's it's all coming to a head. So we, you know, the point of the ICO was that so small entrepreneurs can raise funds. I mean, the current system for, for raising funds, like through crowdfunding or through uh, initial public offering, is very onerous. And uh, on both the, you know, the, the issuer side and both on the investor side. Um, in, you know, small time investors can't get into initial public offerings in, in the United States, at least, uh, and, and, and except through crowdfunding platforms, which they're, you know, most people can only uh, give $2,000 a year, which is what, not even a half of Bitcoin right now, which, yeah, it's, it's kind of ridiculous. Um, uh, additionally, uh, you know, we mentioned Monet's will be the first, but uh, even at the, the Stockholm conference, we uh, got in touch with several different uh, you know, up and coming, uh, you know, small companies that are very interested in using our, our platform. So, um, you know, you can expect a lot in the space soon. Um, in regards to the Monet's ICO, uh, sign up for our newsletter, because uh, that's be the first place that you'll hear about the, the official dates and times. And uh, additionally, Komodo holders will have several benefits to this, this uh, you know, uh, Monet's ICO. Yeah. So. yeah, one thing to point is one point. You as an investor, I just want to mention this as we should do it. Uh, we don't want to convince you to do any crime, to, to, to do anything like against the law. Like it's in your responsibility to avoid doing something which is illegal in your jurisdiction. But if you're really like, uh, like being prevented from bartering something which you own officially for something which isn't illegal in, in that sense, you should probably really like rethink to reallocate. But yeah, that's a different story. Thank you. Yeah, well, there's like so much to talk about. Uh, it's a place where we forget something, but really like uh, even even if we have been working with Monet's and, and seeing their white paper and it's really like uh, it's got Komodo all over it. Uh, we, we are even yeah, the abstract. And, uh, and we've been working hard. Like yeah. we've had like 16 to 18 hours uh, coding uh, working sessions like the last couple of weeks. It's not a matter of days. Like I have, uh, we're really just working uh, ourselves mm. off for, for this thing, for this project to get it like where we want to have it. And, uh, and yeah, we expect uh, Mones is going to release soon the white paper and press release and and uh, then you can go there and re read about uh, the white paper and uh, keep an eye for all the Komodo things going on there. And uh, I think we don't have to go any more detail. Yeah, it's, uh, well, actually that's it. So if you like uh, remember <laughs> anything we forgot, we'll just post it somewhere. You'll read about it and there are like more information, more news coming like very, very soon. So now first we get this all rolling and then you'll know what's coming next. So thank you very yeah, much. Yeah. So I think this was the major announcement that we made, but uh, we have some more little things we can talk about. Uh, for ex wallets. And yeah, for example, maybe we can give a big wallet. Okay, yeah, well, we've done like the great uh, progress with wallet optimization and stabilization. Uh, Agama is getting pretty stable now. We've been like working hard on it the last days. Like a uh, swing wallet is not going to happen a lot of uh, adaption anymore because I'm involved in another uh, GUI uh, wallet development which will uh, participate in the Barterdex GUI campaign and uh, bounty campaign. And so actually that's it. But uh, await Agama to become like pretty stable very soon. So actually we're already testing like a stable release candidate. So um, we had some problems recently. Uh, a lot were like caused by misconfigurations and uh, some, some little uh, flaws. Well, well, actually, it's a huge code trace. It's something totally innovative. We built like a multi wallet with a lot of integrated functions. So, um, yeah, I, I just uh, ask for a little bit of patience and, and we will get it there where you want to have it. So, yeah, thank you. Like, thank you for all your patience, for your attention. Mm -hmm. And yeah. yeah, there's one other thing. Uh, remember the URL 
installers about developing that. Oh, well, remember, you need to click the URL and... Okay, well, actually, I've just, like, created something. It's a little detail, so actually we're now able to um, initiate a new release with just with one single click. So maybe, you know, it's all... Whenever we fix a bug or we, we add a new function, actually, we're just, like, one click away from the new release build. I've been working with that the last days, and, yeah, right. we so, have that now. So to, to put that in simple terms, it, does, it means that you won't have to download uh, the old installer and put a new file in and stuff like that. You just have to, you know, uninstall and reinstall the new one, and you'd be good to go. Yeah, and uh, maybe we can talk about, we mentioned we have all the marketing and also, so... At this point, it should be clear that uh, P will be a major platform in 2018, and uh, this should give us a lot of visibility to our whole platform uh, with this partnership and everything. And uh, and now marketing team is preparing for a Komodo event. Uh, we don't have the full details details, details yet, uh, but you can subscribe to the Komodo newsletter and next week. At some point, we will send all the details about this coming thing, uh, but yeah, this is all we can say for now. Uh, so stay yeah. tuned for it. And also, in, in 2018, expect us to even go to a bunch of more conferences and, and Bitcoin meetups and similar cryptocurrency events um, because we're planning on expanding very rapidly. Yeah, and each conference, we will advertise this ICO platform Especially the Asian market, we're yeah. moving towards them, we're going to be in Asia very soon. And yeah, wait a lot of new uh, information and news to come out. Yes, because a, if, if you haven't had the joys of going to a, you know, a Bitcoin blockchain conference and you know, similar events, um, there is a lot of new projects out there that are just launching ICOs. And um, you know, we think we can bring something brand new, something that is you know, highly competitive to existing solutions out there. Hmm. Yeah, guys, you rock. Thank you for your patience yeah. for everything. Yeah. Like, without you, it wouldn't be where we're standing now. And yeah. yeah thanks for supporting. Mm -hmm. and, Thank uh, you. I really want to get everyone on board. Also, just uh, join our Slack, uh, become contributing. Like, we are fi trying to find good people, good developers, market bigger marketing team we, we are hiring. Uh, hiring. Uh, if it's a Find some guy who's willing to really put every everything. If you under. know, if you know any real good backend C C plus plus developer, please forward this information to me or forward my contact information to him. In case of a working contract, if I'm going to hire him, I'm offering like a bounty of thousand commodos. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. This will be the end of our and the show. podcast. Yep. And uh, we will for sure have uh, some things on YouTube, so ask us anything shows on this type of thing coming next week. Uh, so you guys can submit us any questions and we will answer them. And we will also get the Monet's team online and talk with them. Uh, so you can ask questions from them and up you can talk more in de details about our partnerships and all the things that we have been planning during the past month. Uh, so. Thank you again once once again and uh, have a nice evening have or morning you. depending where you are. Where you are in the world. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Thanks. See you guys later. All right, guys. There you have it. Uh, so decentralized ICOs. All right. Government can't do shit. Fucking awesome. Uh, that's great. I'm really happy about that. Uh, this is going to revolutionize. It's going to be a re it, it's going to be amazing. Uh, just uh, keep an eye on Komodo and their, all their all the new things they're doing. It's gonna be awesome, guys. Supernet aims to give people their power back through technology by no longer needing to rely on third parties such as exchanges, banks, and services, giving you privacy at the same time. Supernet Technologies is the most anonymous technology being worked on currently, with a team of developers working diligently daily. Supernet aspires to be a creative, innovative, state-of-the-art solutions provider, which provides individuals opportunity, personal satisfaction and value. You can find out more at www.supernet.org and join our Slack with over 2,500 people.